After Duterte admins frigate deal fiasco, US, EU, Japanese firm's IPH contract for modern Navy ships. Defense equipment suppliers from the United States, the European Union and Japan are reportedly vying for a lucrative contract to build two state-of-the-art frigates that would herald a modern era for the Philippine Navy. Original equipment manufacturers, OEMs, from the Philippines' traditional defense allies have already created competitive proposals for the 2024 frigate acquisition program, Politico learned. Defense Secretary Gilberto Teodoro Jr. has reportedly expressed support for the initiative, which would include a requirement for technology transfer so the frigates can be maintained locally rather than in shipyards abroad. The program is also said to include details on self-reliant defense posture commitments and the mandatory involvement of a Filipino shipbuilding workforce. The list of new defense equipment that the armed forces plans to procure has already been finalized and available for funding. Teodoro is encouraging the private sector to pitch in the financing to enhance the country's defense posture. This ambitious program reflects a significant strategic shift in the Philippines' approach to defense procurement. Under the guidance of Defense Secretary Gilberto Teodoro Jr., the program is not just about acquiring new ships but also about fostering a self-reliant defense posture. The acquisition program emphasizes technology transfer, ensuring that the maintenance and operational support of these frigates can be carried lo locally by Filipino engineers and technicians. This move is seen as a critical step toward reducing dependency on foreign shipyards and enhancing the capabilities of the local defense industry. With the contract up for grabs, original equipment manufacturers, OEMs, from the Philippines' traditional defense allies are reportedly submitting highly competitive proposals. Companies from the United States, European Union member states, and Japan are all eager to secure this prestigious deal, which is expected to bring not only financial rewards but also strengthen strategic ties with the Philippines. The involvement of these global players underscores the importance of the project. The selected frigates are expected to be equipped with the latest in naval technology, including advanced weapon systems, radar capabilities, and electronic warfare suites. This level of sophistication will significantly enhance the Philippine Navy's ability to secure its maritime borders, particularly in the contested waters of the South China Sea. One of the standout features of the 2024 Frigate Acquisition Program is its commitment to involving the Filipino workforce in the shipbuilding process. The program mandates the participation of local shipbuilders, which not only ensures job creation but also contributes to the development of the country's shipbuilding industry. This approach aligns with the broader goals of the government to build a more self-sufficient defense infrastructure, capable of sustaining long-term military needs without excessive reliance on foreign entities. The Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, has finalized its list of new defense equipment and is ready to proceed with funding allocations. However, in a bid to further enhance the country's defense capabilities, Defense Secretary Teodoro is also encouraging the private sector to contribute to the financing of the program. This call for private sector involvement is seen as a way to diversify funding sources and accelerate the modernization of the Navy. The 2024 program is a clear departure from the previous administration's handling of defense contracts. The 2016 frigate acquisition under President Rodrigo Duterte was plagued by controversy with allegations of corruption and political interference. A plunder complaint has been filed against Duterte and his former aide, now Senator Bong Go, accusing them of meddling in the P-16 billion contract awarded to a South Korean firm. The complaint claims that despite the Philippine Navy's preference for a Dutch supplier, the administration pushed through with the South Korean deal, leading to questions about the integrity of the procurement process.